Now here's something I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. Because Santa and his reindeer have shown up today. Here on Itza. Alright, so what do we got? A horde of zombies, scalies, graveguard. I forgot to... T well, no, I didn't forget anything. Uh, Balefire cart, bargeist, dragon lord on his... I don't know what the hell it's called. His undead unicorn. Two bull centaur renders. The shield variant and the other one's dual axe. And you got Astrogoth with all the spells for some reason. I don't know what my opponent was thinking. Iron Demon on the third point, which is weird. But here we go. I guess my opponent didn't think I would bring Vargeist, and to be fair, I wasn't sure if I should have. The thing with Chaos Dwarfs, Dwarfs are, is they can't deal with large flying units too well. I mean, they have Fire Glaives, they have Tauruses of their own. The problem is the Tauruses aren't the greatest combatants, and they're expensive. And they can't deal with, I don't know, 16, 32 models at a time, so there's that. Like this Iron Demon sitting here getting banged up right now, doesn't know where to go. Doesn't know how to play. And, yeah. The Bull Centaur Renders, as strong as they are, don't have the greatest armor. They have solid stats, but not the greatest defense stats. And the best thing my opponent could do... I mean, our Fire Glaives aren't bad. They just don't have the speed or the range to catch up. <laughs> um, Death Shriekers are too slow. And... According to some folks who have been mentioning, they're actually, uh, a big artillery is actually kind of glitched, kind of weird right now. Ooh, good hand. Oh, yeah, I still consider that a decent hammer. Although he didn't really do that much damage to high priority targets. Yeah, Dutch Reeker still, although not nerfed by the patch notes, did get nerfed somehow. <laughs> Here comes the death, the winds of death. Not bad, and we even catch some of the Orc Labors, so that's always good. 2,000 damage on the Orc Labors is always welcomed. Bar guy's still trying to beat the shit out of that Skullcracker. No, the Iron Demon. I think my opponent just summoned a Skullcracker on the other side, hiding out in the forest. Although it's not hiding necessarily, I just can't read it, because <laughs> there's so many trees in the way. There we go. Yeah, those Orc Labors aren't going to catch are gonna catch a break. I think we sent one thing of zombies over there onto the third objective right now as we're trying to pile into this higher demon. There's just too many units. Why is he going with the Ash Storm? I don't know. None of his... He's got no fire on the ground besides Astrogoth, so I don't understand it. On top of that, he left. Although, if he did the hammer now, it would kind of suck, but... It, the cooldown's gonna be too long for that. And here they come, the bull renders. So how do I respond? I respond with some vanguard, dogs, and more bargeist. Getting into a flanking position, and... He's going for the third objective for some reason, which is weird. So I'm gonna try to cut him off. <laughs> wow, my opponent's got such a weird, weird place down there. To be fair though, this is actually something I want to test out. Not necessarily with the trains, ever since the trains got limited to only two in Domination. I did want to try with Bullrenders now, now that Death Shrieker is kind of meh. With their slower... Sh well, inconsistencies, I'll just say it that. With their inconsistencies. So yeah, I think going a full melee wouldn't be the worst idea, something similar to this. And with Discord dropping on top of these bull renders, that's gonna really help out. Jeez. Oh, nope, we messed it up. We actually left. <laughs> I forgot it was actually a aura ability, not necessarily a... Well, it doesn't matter now, because uh, they're jumping on top of it anyways, and we're gonna beat the shit out of them. Graveguard coming in to deal with these hobgobos. Just the lack of control... Uh, map control for my opponent is just bugging me. 
And this is why I didn't want to kind of do this, because you just give away too much map control, especially on a map like this. If it was like a lame map or a map that funnels out, this could work somewhat. Just get a bunch of bull renders to soak up damage and... Oh, beautiful wins. No kills, though, but good damage. Although my warlord's going to pay the price for it. Even though we're going to have zombies come in and deal with them, along with the graveguard. I mean, but for 105, 110 speed, I'll take it. And over here is just a slugfest. Demons don't know what to want to do. The bull renders are getting surrounded. Although I could do a better use of surrounding. Sent in some crypts over to the top objective. Yeah, there's just not much my opponent can do right now. We're just... I should have brought healing, honestly. To be fair, though, I mean, I wasn't expecting this many large units. So I figured, oh, he's going to have a bunch of fire arrows, deal with a bunch of my units, blah, blah. That's why I brought the Balefire cart. And they could have dealt with this quite nicely, but he didn't do that. So I didn't do that. But it's working out all right. Although the dogs aren't doing the best. We're still holding him back. He can't really get on any objectives. We basically triple cap. Yeah, we triple capped him. <laughs> And, uh, outvaluing him, we have healing going on, he's chasing my cart with Astrogoth, but we have so many units, we even have some of the, the Dark Knights coming in. Black Knights, my bad. Dealing with the Orc Laborers and the Hobgoblins, which should make quick work of them. I think the Hobgoblins, even at 400, just suck. They just do, he sent in the Bale Taurus to come finish off my cart as well, but... And another Taurus as well, jeez. Yeah, it's not gonna cut it. Yeah, what does he got over here? Just blue renders at this point? Once we clean this up, what is, there's nothing he can really do. Wow, we have so much more value than him. We were even just a second ago. Now it's back. Oh no, those are bull renders, not uh, centaurs. Either way, we're still not doing great. And a fun fact, the bail cart also gives your units fire attacks. I did not know that. I only thought it gave him flame resistance. So that's bad, because all his units have fire resistance, so... I'm trading in, taking more less damage from his fire texts, to basically taking less damage from my fire texts. Yeah, it's fun. See, folks, it's good to know. Although, if I was expecting a bunch of hobgoblin arrows, this would have been a lot better. Far guys, the bully, the bull centaur, or the great taurus. Graveguard's still trying to deal with these irons. Crypt ghouls. Trying to get into these Chaos Dwarf Warriors. And this is what happens when you have a change in meta. The shift. Everyone's just trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work. And so I don't blame my opponent for going for something weird like this. Because like I said, I want to try something like this. You have like... I would have went for great weapons though. I don't know why he didn't go great weapons. I think I would have just done dual axes, two bull renders with great weapons. Dropped a bunch of spells on Astrogoth. So you can have some, uh, some just gobos for taking points, map control, maybe even hobgoblins if you had any points left. And the hobgoblin arrows, that's what I'm talking about, not regular hobgoblins. And look at Astrogoth doing the anime moves, grabbing zombies by the throat and slamming them into the ground. Hold on, check this shit out. Ah! Ah! Blah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Astrogoth, you're so cool. And now that you're not as OP as you once were, I can start bringing you without feeling bad. Vargas doing Vargas shit. My poor zombies getting kung fu'd by some old dwarf on stilts. Good burning wrath, jeez. Well, oh, it wasn't overcasted, so it, never mind, it wasn't that great. It wasn't that bad, it wasn't that great. Astrogoth is taking a beating, oh jeez. These black knights are just running the... Field, jeez. So again, two dire wolves to the dual axe bull renders, which would be a bad idea. So I just send in the Vargas instead, and maybe we'll get the flank on the bull renders. Also sending in some of these black knights. Yeah, the black knights just having their way with the field. Hobgoblins, orc laborers, they just can't get across the field. They're getting stomped. Uh. To be fair. Uh, Far guys versus bull renders. Bull renders win still. I thought they already did so much damage. Turns out, uh, no, they were already weakened from fighting on the other side. 
Got the Black Knights and the dogs coming in to surround, cause some havoc. And that should be easy to mop up. Although these uh, wolf boys are going to be a problem though. Opponent's trying his best to actually snipe my lord, but that's not going to happen today. Just too fast. There's too many units. I have full on map control. There's not much he could really do at this point. I mean, one good casting of the hammer could get rid of all these units, leaving just Astrogoth. Uh, maybe send in some bull renders to hold. I'd have to draw a drag back some zombies, maybe summon some more skelly boys. As I try to hold these objectives. I'm up almost, yeah, I'm up with 2,000 value, jeez. These bull renders at least pay for themselves, I'll give them that. Some hobgoblin cutthroats thinking they could sneak their way in. We send them the cav though. The beautiful black knights just charging through. Great stuff. Love looking so sick. Undead cav. I love cav units, but undead cav. Oh man, they just get my heart going. Yeah, sure, Cross just chomping away against those zombies, but he can't hold out that much longer. There's only so much the undead dwarf can do, or the undead dwarf. The Dwarf Lord can do. Iron Demon going back to the third objective. We have zombies. We have skelly boys. We're going to be able to hold for quite some time. Probably summon in some more of our guys or Crypt Horrors to deal with them. Astrogoth. Doing alright, but we're going to poison them. We're going to stab them. We're going to finish them. And the Helmet Discord I really enjoy here. Although I didn't do much because I was a fool and didn't realize how it worked. But now that I do, should be good on the next run. And here he comes, charging in. Blowing away zombies. Jeez. And I'm not paying attention, so goodbye, skellies. Skellies, not zombies. Man, that does so much work. Took out 40 models already? Jeez. Oh, these zombies are gonna get tarred. Jeez. Oh, such good... Oh, man. I need to start using the Iron Demon more. I'm always... I'm a firm believer in the Skullcracker, but damn, that Iron Demon. That burst shot did so much work. And the zombies are already crumbling. Jeez. See, this is what kind of... That's the reason I want to do a build like that. I just love the, the engines and how they roar. Astrogoth's gonna buckle soon. We got Felbats now. The corpse cart. Uh, it's back. Astrogoth's about to go. There's really not much he can do here. We got the knights to intercept anything we need to. And he's just messing around with zombies right now. He's got a Skullcracker too, which isn't going to cut it. And every time he kills one, I can bring back five. Everything on the side points are done. My lord's coming in to provide Helm of Discord. Yeah, my caster lord didn't do shit. <laughs> the Helm of Discord is really the only thing I enjoyed. I summoned like two zombies. Wind of Death did some pretty good damage. But yeah... I probably should have saved up for some healing, honestly. Traded out one of the graveyard. No, I think the graveyard will find. I don't know. I don't know how I'd mix it up. I do like the Vargeist, though. The Vargeist were definitely a good choice. Especially if I wanted to catch a lord if he was in the air. Sorcerer lord, just catch him in the air. Or if I wanted to bard in the back lines of some hobgoblin archers. Yeah, because there's nothing really stopping me now. We got fell back to intercept any wolves. We're chasing Astrogoth. We're healing up any units with the cart. Yeah, we're almost... Yeah, 4,000 value ahead. Jeez. Yeah. You know what would be great right now? A Magma Cannon. <laughs> oh, poor Magma Cannon. Death's, Death Street Rocket wouldn't be bad either. Especially with Astrogoth piling in the way it was. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to fast forward. This game's pretty much over. I think a Death Streaker definitely would have helped out or Magma Cannon. Just... But I would have moved a lot faster too. Or had the VAR guys jump on it. I knew it. GG's opponents, GG's. Who knows, who knows. Yeah, this was actually... Uh, it's a good game! <laughs> For me, at least. Graveguard, fantastic. Even the shield ones. And I'm glad I brought the shield variant too. Well, maybe not that glad. But I am glad. Uh, Vargeist did fantastic work. Black Knights, not so much, but that's what happens when you're killing laborers and hobgoblins. You don't get much value there. Laid on some of the Crypt Horrors. I'm curious what the dogs did. 
Shouldn't be great, but not too bad either. All right, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Please, if you did, like, sub, follow me here on YouTube. We're on the road to 1,000. Hit me up on the stream, show some love, or just can play some games. 12 p.m. Fridays, Central Standard Time. So, yeah, with all that said, y'all have a good one. Peace and goodbye for now.